Our project that our group has been working on for the past several weeks is to accurately depict a simulation earthquake. The tasks are to pick a location and type of structure, such as a bridge, skyscraper, or factory. Based on your location, you had to pick a type of seismic wave to be created via shake table. Shake tables are a structure that somehow is supposed to shake in a specific motion depending on the type of seismic wave you intend to create. The types of seismic waves, aka waves of energy from the earthquake, are love waves which move left to right, relay waves that roll, secondary waves that move up and down, or primary waves that compress horizontally and release. Our building is made out of dry foam blocks, spray painted black everywhere but the top, where it's red with a white H to represent a helicopter pad. Around the outside of our structure is covered in plastic gems flipped backwards where they appear silver and reflect like windows. The beach is made out of brown sugar covered with Maj Paj and many seashells. The border of our beach is made of pebbles and fake flowers for extra decoration. The rest of the poster board represents the ground, which is made of parsley, grass, coffee ground for dirt. The ex for extra decoration, we used leftover foam, shaped and sprayed it, then we glued little pink, red, and white puffballs to represent a native Japanese tree, the cherry blossom. As for the other little details, we glued and painted red popsicle sticks to make a gate in Japan, as well as constructing a white and red foam Japanese flag. Our shake table is made out of industrial springs, hot and wood glued to a piece of 24 by 19 inch plywood. The types of waves we intend for it to create are secondary waves created by pressure being pushed down on the springs and then lifted off at a fast, quick motion. It took us roughly three weeks to finish our shake table and exterior design of the poster board after school visits included. Our stimulation earthquake is intended to be a recreation of the 8.3 magnitude earthquake that hit Japan in 2011. The epicenter of the quake is 373 kilometers off the northeast coast of Japan, aka epicenter means the point on the Earth's surface vertically above the focus of an earthquake. The focus is being somewhere within the North Pacific Ocean, a.k.a. the focus means that it's directly above the epicenter in the earthquake. We are going to create secondary waves by pressing a gallon of spring water onto the specific point on the poster board and then pull it off at a high speed. After pressing the jug onto the board and releasing the up and down movement by creating seismic secondary waves, the board on top will bounce somewhat out of place. Some parsley and coffee grounds will be messed up and Godzilla will fall off the building and die. But most importantly, the building will stay in place, still standing. We used a piece of white foam and used six toothpicks on top. Based on research from the remains of Japan from their earthquake in 2011, buildings dug a bit underground were the most to stay standing, which is why we cut a piece of the board out so the structure was partially underground. The pros of the design was that it was very hefty and sturdy, thus being very resistant. Also, while knowing it was so strong, we tested it by carrying it around so it wouldn't around so it wouldn't be a constant worry of falling apart. The cons, however, were that it took so long to build, the poster board included. Also, it was, a it was so difficult to find something that could create heavy impact against the thick wood and brick springs. In the end, our structure withstood the impact. After weeks of hard work, our building, bedazzled and beautiful, was strong enough to keep up.